What's up guys, Sinus Taka here for a video. This video right up here, um, in place of Friday Night Frights, I normally do a Friday Night Frights video, but I won't be able to do it tonight because in my area they're doing some construction, so they have like the, like do like the point, like do like a train to do, like put like a new transformer in one of the areas, so it's like a little bit later on, they're gonna have like the power off for like an hour or two. That's gonna stick with the new like transformer device in there, some sort of thing, and they have like a form, they're gonna do something, so, and so unfortunately it's a mess up with my time when I show the tapes and the coverage on the TV. So, oh, well, it happens like that, you know, technical difficulties. But anyway, I just want to put a video out there for you guys. So pretty much just be me going around town, stalking around town, that kind of thing. But uh, maybe a brewery, I have an idea of mine to check out. Also a new Halloween shop that's in my area. Hopefully it's opened up this time. And then maybe look for some new Blu-rays and DVDs at some of the Dollar Trees, which I saw some of my friends post about yesterday. So I'm gonna see if I find anything good there to pick up for a buck, you know, on a DVD or Blu-ray or something, something like that. And also I got something really cool in the mail. See, I got this Video Violence T-shirt, which coincides with this, which is this really rad looking vinyl. You can see right up here, gatefold. Look at the cool of the original soundtrack video of Violence. I ordered this like almost two months ago, there were some mishaps with it. Like the vinyls they pressed originally, uh, they were in the wrong order, so it was a little bit of a slight delay for a few weeks or so, which was fine to get the right album. But look at this cool, look at the album, the way it looks with that neat coloring and the, all that stuff. Looks just a great looking setup here. But definitely pump on that album, looks super cool. I can't wait to give that a listen. It's like from the original soundtrack off that really great shot video movie, Video Vons. I never thought there'd be a vinyl of that out there. So this is really cool. I got a special edition of that. Super cool from Terror Vision. Check them out. They have a really cool Instagram page. They do, they do a lot of cool special albums. They do, I think they have like Unsolved Mysteries one. They're doing a 555 one right now and some other stuff. So check them out if you don't already know about them. Let's get the day going. All right, so right now I'm going to this place, Harlan Brewing, to get some beer right now. I was going to get this one for the Ube beer, but that comes out tomorrow. But I got this new one called the Citra Haze. Looks pretty good with that nice hazy color. So I'm gonna get that. Check a little bit inside. I also had to get a pizza with it because I forget when you go to a brewery here, you gotta get like a food item so to order to drink here at the brewery. So oh well, it's okay, it's cool. So do that in a little bit. And right, let's go try this out, see how it is, huh? <sighs> pretty damn good. Harlem Brewing always have good beer here. Mm. Mm hmm. All right, so I get the pizza. Look at this, a big old. Pretty good size margarita pizza. I got the cheese and you know simple margarita pizza, stuff like that. But a little bit of basil and cheese in the sauce. But yeah, that's a pretty good size. I'm gonna be like pizza and beer. Oh my, oh my. All right, just left the brewery. Had the pizza. It was actually pretty okay. I go to this place. So I wanted to go like a while back, but uh, it was closed up. Just opened up yesterday, I believe. House of Halloween. Right over here. It looks kind of cool, like a like an offshoot Spirit of Halloween shop. So let's go in here. Um, we we'll close at seven, so let's go check it out and uh, see how it is. Here's all the masks in the store. Pretty neat the selection of masks. They have this funny uh, come over clown, like tunnel trunk uh, mask. That's kind of funny, right? Never this one yet. Let me get this one, the plastic man, which is good old King of Pop. It's like kind of, kind of messed up, but oh man. But a pretty neat little selection of masks and some big, pretty good sized place up here. Now just walking down the aisles and like the things like the little kids costumes and that kind of thing. There's actually some horror t-shirts over here I see. I'm gonna go walk down there real quick and see how they look. Before I go there though, I got this section, this cool little little section of some of the horror figures you could put in your front yard up over here. Oh wow, I'm all stepping on them, making them all, making them all move on me. That's kind of cool though, all these like different things all up over there. And all that, there's like a bunch of these going on. Kind of cool. I'm just like stepping in the mall. You get this one, yeah. That's kind of cool. This was like a lollipop, you know? I don't know if I'm gonna get that lollipop. Oh man, it's like a creepy candy look kind of giving guy. Oh, look at the kid back there. That's, this is kind of cool. I like that. That's awesome. I can hardly believe It appears like a bunch of neat like horror t-shirts like this chance this chainsaw mask or uh, one appears like in Japanese or something like that. But it's pretty cool though. So right now I have to do a little bit of voiceover because the music, but there's some more horror t-shirts up here. 
you know, pretty okay designs, like nothing amazing, amazing print wise, but still pretty okay for some old, bright, you know, horror shirts, some band shirts and that kind of thing. But pretty neat to see these at a Halloween shop though. Here's like a bunch of body parts, like some little hands. And this thing, a gory pie. I never, I never seen this before. It's like a gory pie, some creepy doll heads, severed fingers, eyeballs, little like creepy, creepy hands, more eyeballs, like a tongue or something. And then all kinds of neat little things, like a little chainsaw up here. Some like bare feet you can wear, and stage feet, and more, more all kinds of neat little body parts, and neat little things like this. These little skeleton things. They're kind of neat. Though. I like these. They're kind of cool. Like they're like cheaply made, but they're kind of kind of realistic looking. They're kind of a neat little cheap effect. And some different kinds of costumes up here. You got this one. You got Beavis and Butter, which is kind of weird because like from the '90s, but. So you got him, he was butt at and this almost looks like the like the porn VHS box version of them, which he has. Has that kind of look to it, kind of funny. There's like a bunch of different lots and ends up over here. So I just left that Halloween shop now. Next door, I'm over here at Dollar Tree, because I saw all my buddies and people like that post about the new movie, The Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna see at this Dollar Tree, see what they have. They get Krampus too. I think my man Kooluder's in this thing. I got a little cameo, I believe he's in that. Let's go see what they have in there. Maybe some, maybe some blues and some other it sounds like actually a bunch of horror titles out like it like red summer um what else they have here i think y'all picked over already i don't know if it is or not but let's go see some stuff down here let's see what they got signal that one tick mueller cover weirdsville killing house the killing house what is this like oh curtains you get curtains and that one okay so that's what that is. Another signal. Most of these might be like whatever ones. So let's go see. Good Jack and Jill. It's funny, I've never done a video of me going at a Dollar Tree looking for the movies. I always miss out. The Dollar Tree's by me. I always get screwed up. They have like usually nothing in there. So it's kind of like, ugh. So it's, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> I gotta get this one, yes. The dog's gone. The dog won for Christmas. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna get that. Heck no. Playback. Like that. Demon Warriors. That looks really bad. You get the Belco experiment. That's like that's kinda of funny. That's in here. The Belco experiment. That's kinda of funny. They have that in here. Roosevelt, you got one of that. They have up here. Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. I've been wanting to watch this. I know it's probably so stupid. Blu-ray, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna jump on this. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. Um, but wanting to watch this for a long while now. You know, for a dollar Blu-ray, it's been here for a while, I know that. Might as well get the dang thing, so. <laughs> I will get this. What the heck? I'll get some of that cringe and yes. Yes. Get that too, and no, I'm just playing, we'll get that. What else do they have up here? Some of those on the side up there. You got Jonathan, Ghost Adventurers, the original documentary, Ghost Adventurers. What is this like? The very first one? Maybe that because it's like you know, Halloween time, like what the heck, something, something kind of, you know, to pop on. Short Wave. It looks interesting, but I don't know how it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, what else we got up here? Killers Within. It's kill or be killed. Um, I don't even know anything about this. Huh. Maybe that. Maybe I'll put this aside. Maybe. Think about it. Go through these. Kiss of the Dam. This was actually a pretty good movie. Um, Kiss of the Dam. The cover looks kind of like very kind of twilight. But the movie actually is a pretty dang good uh, movie actually. So maybe maybe that too. I know I've seen it before. I don't have it though. Let me get this thing. Bone jangles. Maybe that too. Cause it's like some weird cringe or something. Some bone jangles. I look through this already. Yeah, Red Summer Krampus too. Let's go to this side. Let's see what's over here. It's a good thing about Dollar Tree. Thank goodness there's no music playing. There's no gimmick infringement, infringement music playing. That's a good thing. How much blue is at this location? Not a lot. You got this one. Kind of like a, like a 
action flick kind of movie. Is that Pitbull right there? <laughs> Gotta get some of that. More signal. Danny Trejo double feature. Pasture Shepherd and the Burning Dead. That looks really bad and cheesy. Sinkhole. Huh. Escaping from a sinkhole bus trapped in there. My buddy uh, Sean got this one. The number of is going to get that one. <laughs> Go on the edge and consume. So I think that's about the look for everything pretty much. So I'll get a couple of movies and I'll show you at the end what I get when I get back to the pad. But yeah, not a whole lot this location, but I found some stuff. All right, back home now. I'm going to show you the movies I got at the Dollar Tree and that kind of thing it was interesting. Sort of like, like substitute Friday Night Fries video. And what's cool thing is like, they already fixed the lights. See, the lights are on, so I guess it's already done. Like all like, the workers, so when I was gone, they fixed everything else, so that was good. So now, no more worries about that electrical crap. So that's a good thing. So I'll do a makeup Friday Night Frights video next Friday, which would've been tonight, but I'll do it for next Friday. It's like a little silly little video to put up. And this replacement, for at least to have something out there. But let me show you real quick the movies I picked up at Dollar Tree. Start off with the Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie on blu-ray i've been wanting to watch this one for a long while now and put it off i used to always watch tim and eric awesome show on the cartoon networks you know adult swim it's like you know i gotta check out the cheesy movie you know what i mean for a dollar it's probably worth about a dollar <laughs> from a billion dollars to a dollar here we go on blu-ray what the heck can't go wrong with that <clears throat> next up here we got the belco experiment you know um can't go wrong with that you know for a buck Great deal for a pretty neat gore movie. Um, this one, for the, what the hell? Halloween time, Ghost Adventurers, the original documentary. It's like the very first one that started them all. Um, I remember watched this a long time ago on Travel Channel. And uh, for you know what, what the heck, you know, to have it just for the hell of it to play a couple times during the next month, you know, for October, it'll be worth it for a buck. Uh, next up here, Kiss of the Damned. Um, Great vampire movie, don't be fooled with the Twilight looking cover. It's actually a really good uh, horror flick is this one actually. Saw it a long while back, but I don't have it on DVD. I thought I did, but I don't have it, so I figured for a buck. Definitely going to have in the collection. And uh, last but not least, we have Red Summer. I heard about this, never seen it before, it looks kind of cool. You know, even the girl at the counter was like, oh, this looks kind of cool, this one. She was like telling me the register so maybe she'll pick up a copy too i think it's the only one they have left over there though but it's kind of a neat one neat, like no horror indie horror flick so give this one a watch should be hopefully it's a good gory fun time is that so i picked up five movies and all i forgot to get i was gonna get um krampus 2 and i forget some my buddy sean's in that one i forgot to get that one i, I, I had it right there and then I got distracted because some, someone was like looking at the movies too. So I kind of like, I was like, let me just grab these and go. And I was like, oh crap. So I'll probably go back again in a couple of days. And I'll pick that, I'll probably you know, pick that one up. I did, I'll pick up a Dollar Tree, pick up that one, along with some other movies that I'll see what the hacks. I saw a bunch of other different kinds of movies that had a Dollar Tree too. So I'm gonna do, I'll do some hunting around in my area, hit up a different Dollar Tree and see what they have too. That's it for my video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it for, for, for your fun little Video going around town, check out some things, you know. Go to the brewery, get some pizza. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with that. That little weird like offshoot Halloween shop. That's some pretty cool things up in there. Could not record a little bit too much because the music was playing there, so I had to be kind of careful with that. And Dollar Tree, pick up some Dollar Tree movies finally in a video because I've never done it before. I've always tried doing it before in the past, but I've always struck out. So at least I found some stuff this time at the Dollar Tree I was at in the, the area I went to. So I'll definitely try to hit some other ones the, tomorrow the next day. Try to get a couple, few more of the movies I want. I saw other people get them, and try to get some more stuff out there like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys are new, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification ring button so you don't miss a video. And if you want to keep with all my content, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Links down below for that in the description box. I'll catch you guys later in the next one. I'll see you. Bye-bye.